What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Video is entitled, So You're Looking for a Pandemic Provider. See, there are people out here who were saying they were doing just fine before this pandemic. There are people out here who are, you know, they were able to stick and move in life, you know. And some people went down the I'm independent road. Um, I got my job, this, I don't need a man, this. And people are tripping about, people were tripping. I don't think that, you know, there's still some people tripping about Kevin Samuels talking about high value men, which is a good topic to talk about, um, especially in this pandemic, because it needs to let you know how many people are in the uh, atmosphere that you would like to be in. But along the way, it started changing and morphing. Prior to that also, and shout out to Kevin Samuels. I hope you much more success. Shout out to O'Shea, I forgot to say that, about getting uh, 100,000 subscribers too, you know. But what you're hearing is a lot of people want a pandemic provider. See, it was cool until the pandemic. Now I need a man. Now I need somebody to be a provider, and he needs to be a breadwinner. At first, you was the breadwinner, remember? At first, you know, you, you, you were handling your business. You were leveled up. You were a boss, you know. To a degree, you know, you were savage too, right? But now, this idea of where are the, the men who should be taking care of the family? When did this actually happen? When the pandemic hit? You know, when, when the benefits of being single and dating started falling apart. You know, when you're starting to see, when you start seeing celebrities and even pastors, you know, OnlyFans, what does that tell you? You know, you need a, a way to um, subsidize your income. And the question is, you know, if you're, If you're going through a pandemic, you should look worse than you did prior. So if you're trying to up keep your lifestyle prior to the pandemic, you, you got a mental issue because there's no need to be as dressed up because you're not going anywhere. But you got to promote online, right? So this idea that people are looking for relationships and love, I think it definitely still exists, but I think there are a bunch of people who taken a step back and are like, I need a, a pandemic provider because, you know, I don't know how I'm going to make it in this situation without some um, captain to come save me. You know, thus, not just a sugar daddy, but a, 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 a guy who can who can weather the storm of the pandemic. So when it, when it ends and, you know, some of you decide to step away from that guy because he's not everything you hoped for right, right after the pandemic ended, you know what I'm saying, um, to a guy who, uh, to, to the guy that, you know, uh, let's just be friends, you know, let me wait, see my options in the world. And if this... If something bad happens, I could just, you know, um, prodigal son my way back to you, you know. It's 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 pathetic because you're seeing what's going on with with, with life. You know, you're seeing how quickly people change when um, you hit a, a snag in the road. And now men aren't really men if they don't take care of you when you didn't want a man you can do for yourself prior to the pandemic. That's problematic. So you want a pandemic provider. You want somebody to actually take care of you and get you through the rough times in life. Now, this is always, this has happened before. You know, this is what people call people simps and whatnot because a friend zone, you know, uh, the captain, save them. You know what I mean? But now it's like, what are we doing? 
because you, you're you starting to see how far people will go to get quote unquote provision. Yeah, what, what was done in the dark is now, you know, come out the light using things like um, uh, OnlyFans, using, you know, I hate to say this, scenarios like the uh, Sukihanas of the world, right? Using people having breakdowns and mental breakdowns in the sense of, you know, they thought being a single mom was cool until now you got to help the kids with their homework every day and now you're getting tired of your own kids. And now you want somebody to come along and be a father to their actual father or be a father figure. You know, when you have fathers versus finance, now you're seeing what that means when you chose finance over the father and now you need the father while you're still getting the finance. You know, you, you're seeing the, the, okay, I need somebody. And then you're seeing the mistrust of men is like, you don't rock with me. You just want a, you know, a uh, a pandemic provider. I just came up with that today. Don't, you know, don't don't hate me. <laughs> but what winds up happening is you're in this scenario where these guys are hip to it. Like, what I what do I need to do anything for you for? Why? You know. Up, you know. Looking for a man who's a provider, especially in a pandemic, you have to offer that pandemic provider something besides sex. You know, and truth be told, this is what normally goes on when people are looking for a quote-unquote provider anyways. You feel like you're prostituting yourself for provision, and if the guy is overly sexual as far as he wants to have sex with you a lot, you start to resent him. Because you're not bringing anything to his table, so, and it's not like you guys are a team, because you want the guy to be out for us and you to be out for you. You know, you want him to be us for us and you be me for me. Not gonna work. But once you resent the guy, he becomes an enemy, even though he's being a provider. Because we don't talk about all of the providers who get resented. And hate it for providing. But he, but he didn't do everything I wanted him to do in life ever. And like, oh, okay. He, he, put, he put you in a good, good spot, though. And this is where, um, you know, a lot of people are in the sink and swim position. Because for those women who didn't want to compete for, for a good man, you're going you're gonna to have to compete for a pandemic provider. Because he's not going to waste his time and money Cause on, on just women. Because, like I said, dating has, has slowed down tremendously. And I said that in other videos. That's why I'm saying, like I said. It's slowed down tremendously. So you're not getting the gifts and the breaks and the free meals. So now you got you to gotta, uh, carry your own weight. And that weight sometimes gets heavy. So when it gets heavy... What are you going to do? You know, is it a man's fault now? Possibly, probably, perhaps. Um, and now these guys are leveraging being a provider because being able to be a provider in a pandemic becomes a pretty good position. And you have to have something to offer a person that you're asking something from. And since sexuality is, is empowering for some women, most men don't look at sexuality as empowering. They just look at it as you're horny. So that ain't going to cut it, you know. Not to mention if, you, what kind of, if you're bringing mental or emotional baggage to the table or if you're bringing children to the table, you know. So since you're looking for a, a pandemic provider, um, you're going to have to beat out all the other competition before you even get to the guy. And, you know, all of the hate speech, even when people do online dating, 
all of that, uh, and you need to do this, and you better be this, and you better be that, and if you're not that, I don't want to talk, all that's got to come to an end anyways. So, because even if online, online dating should, should have kicked up a long time ago, now that I think about it, but all of that attitude, even on your dating profiles, you got to leave that. You know, all that arrogance in the DMs that you don't want to respond to people, you're going to have to leave that aside. Because those guys are not going to even approach you. You're going to have to approach them. Now you're going to have to actually be uh, proactive with finding a provider. And the guys are going to be looking at you with the side eye anyways because they're going to get approached by so many different women who are looking for a pandemic provider. And some of y'all don't know how to act anyways, so y'all think y'all are just going to bully a guy into taking care of you, which is absolutely asinine. But it's a reality that... that that in tactical sense, people do far too often, especially with black men. It's stupid. But you want a, a pandemic provider? What are you willing to do? You know, but that's my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.